YouTube, Mark Juice my UG. Just taking a quick break at work. I want to talk about uh, beware of people wearing scrubs. And if you didn't hear me correctly, I'm talking about medical scrubs. And forgive me, I'm eating as I make this video. No sense in waiting. So, uh, people in medical scrubs in every city, in every town, in every state. You're gonna see a lot of these people now more than ever, especially with uh, regards to a uh, pandemic. After the pandemic, you know, uh, there was a there was a driving force of medical assistance. Ain't that many damn sick people in the world, in the sense of uh, how they're trying to care for them. There are a lot of narcissists in the world. And that's what I want to talk about. Next time you hit a neighbor or you have someone wearing medical scrubs, let's say your neighbor or someone on your street somewhere. I'm speaking from firsthand um, experience. Observe their behavior in their personal life away from the job at, at, at their house. Observe their ratchet ass behavior or observe their ethical behavior. There's not a perfect person in the world, but you guys know what I'm talking about. They can't sit their ass down. They can't stay out of the road. The children are in and out of the house, slamming doors, running around in people's backyard, in their front yard, utilizing them like it's their own yard with no adult supervision to be found. These people are trying to get free daycare. Please let their kids run rampant. And as soon as they break a window, something happens bad. Break a car window. Don't you dare speak on it. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Unless you want to be in it. I'm doing a video. For you do. That's a co-worker. As I said, there's no perfect people in the world. But do observe these people's behavior. Because um, it's a telltale sign that you could very well possibly have a neighbor as a narcissist. And what they do, they wear scrubs. They get into the healthcare pro um, profession. Because what better way to insulate yourself against uh, coming under the, the eye of suspicion. Oh, they care, they're nurse, they are not bad. It's kind of like we indirectly, automatically assume somebody's a decent person because they are in the healthcare profession. We, if we do that, we have to assume every cop that's that got a badge on is ethical. And, uh, I respect law enforcement, but we have to understand, even law enforcement, when they come on the scene, don't kiss their ass. You ask them what their business is. No need to be afraid of the police. Um, apprehensive of the police. They have a job to do, serve and protect the community. Defund the police, who came up with that idea? comes down to ethics, it comes down to individuals who have made a decision to desert their true self and who have slipped through the cracks of society and got jobs that are in positions of authority, positions of persuasion, positions of influence, um, such as such as a nurse. You know, nobody really questions the nurse. The nurse questions you when you come in for triage. You'll see some of them in triage. They ask you questions like, um, 
like 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 they despise you being there. It's almost like an interrogation. I don't know what that feels like, but I've seen it on TV interrogations. It's like that's everywhere. You go anywhere now uh, where people have to be public servants, restaurants, gas stations, banks, anywhere you have to be served as the customer. Anyone who feels this way comment. They not only make you feel, they are blatantly giving off the energy that I'm there to serve them. You're there to serve them as opposed to them being a servant. There's no servant mentality in the world today. And that's why this world is going down the tube. And it's going down the tube in a way where I'm not overtly concerned. I'm just very, very concerned. And uh, I'm concerned to the point where I'm gonna raise my family and I'm going to continue to elevate my self-awareness as a human being and try to be a contributor to society in a good way until such a time as I don't exist here anymore. So you guys, I want you to really be vigilant when you see someone in the healthcare profession or where you have to go in and be served by the healthcare um, administrations or whatnot. I need for you to be very, very mindful. Observe observe that way you get the best care uh, possible for you your loved ones and whatnot and I and I doted on this before in a video and I'll probably speak about it many 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 more times because this is the new deception this is the new subtle deception and a lot of these people are going here looking for help and health care services thinking you're ill thinking you're up under the weather and you you need these people to intervene and give you their expertise uh, there is a website Cleveland Health Clinic you can go on the website and Google these uh, different uh, websites as far as uh, if you got a pain in a certain spot and you can do a little bit of independent research yourself on yourself uh, based on some of the some of the symptoms that you're experiencing and I'm not saying not to go to a doctor whatsoever but I'm just saying get ahead of this train because if you go to a mechanic I would encourage you to do the same thing research uh, Google what your car uh, is, is experiencing the sounds it's making this way you go in you have a better understanding a better awareness of what you're potentially dealing with and you won't let nobody blow smoke up your ass because this is the new subtle deception healthcare narcissists hide behind healthcare and that's probably what I'll title this nurses people who are scrubs hide behind healthcare narcissists specifically you'll find a lot of people in healthcare that have deep 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 seated depression deep deep seated mental health issues and they'll often get into that you know veterinarians uh, veterinarian clinics you have a lot of people get into these professions because they need it help them cope with anxieties depression and whatnot and another thing happened almost during the time of the pandemic or was it before whereas now you legally have you you have the right to have a pet or an animal for an emotional companion Can you imagine a narcissist using this tactic as a go-to they pull out all the stops and they're so envious and jealous if they see someone doing something let's say a person has has authentic anxieties and uh, uh, depression uh, that are that's not called by caused by narcissism to which in this case I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not bad-mouthing these specific people we're talking about narcissists 
who placate this stuff to, for their own uh, benefit. And, and they'll actually use everything they see somebody else doing like a little kid. They see you doing something, they do it. And, um, you know, veterinary clinics, I see a lot of them. The very, very disturbed, some of them. Very withdrawn. Very isolated. So you might say, how are you able to tell whether it's a narcissist with depression and anxieties or a person just 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 a person in general with anxieties and depression I'm not here to determine which one is which I'm here to just share with you you need to determine whether you're dealing with a potential narcissist that is uh, masquerading in uh, medical scrubs and working in the health care uh, whether it be a veterinarian clinic uh, retirement home, you name it. Step up your awareness, people. This is the new deception. Bless.